Hello. Expressions on the faces of Bosnian people may reveal one story. But wounds that no amount of time can heal reveal quite another. The war here ended in 1995, but American troops have never left, in part because scars seen and unseen by the naked eye may be here for another 40 years. At every turn, you can see little red signs. UXO means this area has not been demined. Landmines never cleared after the war to blame for countless injuries every year. Well, we're pretty much the only ones that you could say that has mines in the backyard. <laughs> Specialist Robert Jenkins is from Wilkes-Barre. Now stationed with the 28th Infantry Division of the Pennsylvania National Guard at Eagle Base in Tuzla, Bosnia, he doesn't step foot off this sidewalk. I mean, looking at that sign and knowing you're that close. It's a reality check. You know where you're at. More than 300 of the 1,000 plus soldiers stationed at Eagle Base are from Northeast Pennsylvania. This is part of the 109th Mechanized Infantry of Scranton. Their mission? Drive through the town and maintain a presence. Essentially work themselves out of the job. Since the signing of the Dayton Peace Accords, troops have been here hoping to build back a war-torn country where American soldiers no longer need to police. I think they're, they would love to get their feet in the ground and put the war behind them. They have, I think they have a long way to go. I think they have a, they have a, a ways to go yet. Before leaving the base, soldiers cover their own bases. You riding with us? You need keys? This is a ballistic vest in case someone shoots at us. Won't go through. It's got a ceramic plates. Weighs about 35 pounds. It's great to wear. Their presence alone is intended to deter future hostility. So far, it's working. Escorted by Humvees with armed guards in front and behind, we went on patrols with the soldiers to the town of Kalisha, a 20-minute drive from the base. Sometimes when we're just out for uh, traveling, I mean, they'll come out, they'll stop. Yeah. If we have anything, we'll give it to them. By asking questions from locals, soldiers find out who needs what. Sometimes it's firewood on this day. It's notebooks and pencils for students. Ask him how often he sees American soldiers. He said every day. But when we asked this group of teenagers if they knew why soldiers were here every day, he said, no, he doesn't know. Children may not remember the violence, but they can't escape the destruction. Unfortunately, right across from the school, you'll see the buildings that are torn apart, so even the children constantly come out with the uh, reality check of what war can produce here. Captain Jim Matisco is from Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. He understands why the younger generation may be confused about his presence or for that matter his generosity. But daily he hears from those who remember battles as if it were yesterday and who feel as if another civil war could break out tomorrow. Since you came it's much better. <laughs> Since you meeting American uh, American soldiers, yeah, American army. Their own interpreter fears their departure. As long as they are here, we are safe. When they leave, we're going to have war again. I'm positive. For Pennsylvania Morning, I'm Cecily Mayo.